Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 10825 Southwest Avocet Court here in Beaverton. We're located right now at the rear of the home. We're right outside the rear entrance to the gymnasium and just to the left of that is a, it's kind of a mop closet. We've got a three inch ABS clean out here. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running. And I zeroed out the foot counter there at the bottom of the clean out. We're going to keep the camera moving kind of quick here. I don't know how long this line is. It could be extremely long. We'll do most of the inspection as we come back when the line's drained out. Right here at about 49 feet, as we round this turn here, you have a hole in the pipe at the top of the sewer line. That's probably a root that's been covered up by toilet paper, but you definitely have a hole there. You can see where the plastic's broken, you've got dirt showing through. reached a Y connection here. Now we're making a transition here over to 3034 PVC pipe. I'm getting very close here to running out of camera. But being that we just went through that hard dive there, we're probably getting very close to the main. All right, dislocated the camera head successfully here. So where the line is at is all the way down at the bottom of the hill. As you come into this neighborhood, you go through the gate, and it's one single road, and then as you go up further up the hill, it splits at a fork. We're way down lower than the fork where the line, where the road is still one single road, if that makes any sense. And where I'm at right now is about eight feet away from the main lateral. If I was able to get another three or four feet down line here, you can probably see the main lateral connection. Anyway, this is just my camera is maxed out. I might be able to get us a, another couple feet here as well. Back when I flash my locator like this, I'm seeing a white reflection at the end. The main is, anyway, it, I, I pace it off to the manhole where the line, the main line's running. I'm, I'm getting around eight feet away. So we made it almost all the way there. The line is currently draining out here. 
nice part is this entire line is on a steep hillside, so the, we're going to have a little water trickle into the line here as we reel the camera out. And thus far, the only thing I've seen in the way of damage was around 50 feet. Which that's a spot I am going to recommend a spot repair on. It's not affecting functionality at this point, uh, but it does look like a root's going through it. So at some point down the road, it, it very likely will do that. This line drains out insanely fast, and a lot of that is just due to the pitch the line has on it. Everything shoots through here like a rocket. On the average sewer line that's about half this length, it'll take three, four minutes for the line to drain out. This drained out in like about less than a minute, which is incredible. So that there is just a leaf. I'm not entirely sure how that got into the sewer line. I don't believe there are any leaves in here by the clean out. You may have storm drains or something hooked up to the sewer line. It's possible that's how a leaf got in there. I, there was no debris sitting over this clean out access when I first got into here. But if this is a house that has storm system hooked up to the sewer line, that's, that's the more likely culprit there as to how that got into the sewer line. That would be my guess. Otherwise, you've got an open clean out somewhere or something of that nature. If you wanted to sculpt the rest of that, you'd have to find some with a little bit longer camera. By the time I, I, I'm using a camera here that's it's almost 200 feet long, it's about 195 feet. By the time I zero it out at the bottom of the clean out I, I, and, and have the reel sitting outside the, the door here, I lose about 10 feet or so doing that. But you need a, you need a little bit longer camera and you can get that last eight, at most about 10 feet of pipe. item there in front of the camera, kind of at the top of the pipe, there's just a cobweb. So basically the line looks like it runs essentially from the gymnasium area across the back of the house. It, it appears to somewhat round the turn around the kind of the back right corner of the home and then it picks up a second line coming out of the, uh, the other portion of the, the basement and shoots down to the road. You've got a minor offset right there. It's The joint's closed off to the ground. It's a very minor offset, and it's way, way out from the house. That's not concerning there. And there's where we pick up the Y. Looks like from the rest of the home where that ties in. In total, your line here is three and four inch diameter pipe. You have the time it connects to that Y there at around 85 feet. That's that by that point you're into four inch diameter pipe. Now, it's an impeccably clean sewer line. There is not a speck of debris buildup in here, grease buildup, anything. Now, this this break in the line we're going to see here in just a moment. I highly recommend fixing. If you don't fix it right away, I would I would get on it fast because it, it's this looks like it's got a root coming through it. It's kind of gunked up right now with a bunch of debris, a toilet paper. In fact, no, anyway, for a second there, I thought there was a leaf sticking through that, which had been kind of unusual because we're underground here. But anyway, we're going to go locate this. I'll mark it with a white X. I'll mention the depth and location here in just a moment. All right, and I'll try and show the general direction of where this location is at. I marked it with a very big white X. It's like two feet wide. And if you're standing here at the rear gymnasium door staring out at the roadway, it pretty much goes dead straight that direction. There's a very large tree with a whole bunch of ivy around it. And 
anyway, it's marked right there at the base of that tree. I had to push the camera a little bit past this point here to get an accurate locate, because if I'm here, my camera's bent in the pipe, and I can't get an accurate reading that way. But the depth there is only coming in at two feet deep. It's extremely shallow, very, very easy to get to. In the world of sewer repairs, that's about as easy as it gets. Uh, very good chance that large tree that's parked about six feet away from it is likely what caused that damage there. And then you'll see a little debris here as I back up in the flow line. That there just appears to be a little bit of grease buildup. And you can see that where it starts right here in the flow line, that kind of white tan line there, is just a little bit of grease stuck in a, in a glue drip. Well, they glued the pipe when it was being installed. It, it dripped down the line a little ways and then some grease collected on top of that. Anyway, not, not a root intrusion. And then, uh, again, there is a secondary branch of the pipe. Unfortunately, where, where that Y comes in at around 85 feet, it does not help me figure out where that clean-out is at. I'm assuming there's another clean-out at this point. There, there may, it may be a, a storm drain connection tying in there at 85 feet. But that branch of pipe, I'm unable to find a clean-out access for. But what we scope there is the, the vast majority of the main line. But because we're on slab foundation here in the basement area, unless I know where that line's going or you do something like a toilet pole, something of that nature, finding that clean-out is almost impossible. Anyway, we have good flow all the way out to the street. And as far as I can, I can tell here, good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. There is no buildup or any flow problem signs ahead of where we stopped there, which again was about 8 to 10 feet shy of the main. So we're standing at the uh, back gymnasium doors. Here's the closet. We're staring straight out from these doors here. If you go down these, this set of stone stairs, about 40, 50 feet, and look to your right, you'll see a large tree with a whole bunch of ivy growing at the base of it. And right in that ivy patch is where you'll see my white X marking. And after any repairs are done, I recommend rescoping the sewer line to check the work. But the line is functioning properly at this time as far as conveying sewage from point A to point B. It is not functioning, however, being a watertight sewer line any longer as it has a hole in it at 50 feet. And I would certainly get it repaired so the line stays that way. It's amazing that there is not a massive root ball right in that thing, considering how close those trees are.